Hi, I'm Ross Cena Mike from RossTraining.com. What I want to do in this brief video is address a question that I've had asked of me several times in the last few years. The question is in regards to a standing rollout variation that I've demonstrated with wheels such as these. I've also worked with similar variation with these inexpensive furniture sliders. The exercise that I'm referring to is one where you would perform a standing rollout, but rather than working continuously from top to bottom, you would add an exercise to the bottom of the rollout. For example, you'd roll out, come back, perform a push-up. Maybe perform a roll-out from the push-up position with these wheels. So individuals have asked about that exercise, wondering if there's a way to perform a movement similar to that if they don't have access to wheels like this or, or to the furniture sliders. For example, if you train at a large commercial gym, chances are they're not going to have wheels such as these. Fortunately, you can perform a similar variation with a barbell and I will get to demonstrating that in one moment. Before I do so though, let me first show you the exercise with these wheels, just in case you haven't seen it before, get an idea for how you can freestyle your standing rollouts if you have wheels like this, or the barbell, as again I'll demonstrate shortly. So typically speaking, when you're performing a standing rollout, you would start here and work from top to bottom in this fashion. What you can do though, with wheels such as this, is maybe stop here and include a couple reps of push-ups. Then you can perform a rollout from the push-up position here. And you can go back to the start. So you can essentially freestyle it any way that you want. So every set's going to look a little bit different. Certainly not a necessity, but a nice way to spice things up. Again though, if you don't have wheels like this, it's not a problem. I'll show you how you can do it with a barbell. Okay, so as you can see with the barbell, you can include variations quite similar to what you can perform with these wheels or the furniture sliders that I've demonstrated previously. What you'll also notice is that during that sequence of movements, I put on a light weighted vest. Nothing too significant, it's only 20 pounds, but the addition of that weighted vest adds a unique element to the sequence of movements. It's a conditioning element. Because when you start to freestyle the rollout, what you'll notice is that the length of the set is extended. You're now working for 60 or 90 seconds and beyond, continuously. The rollout itself is an exercise in tension. You are tense throughout that exercise. So you take an exercise which is naturally one of tension and add a weighted vest, which may slightly constrict breathing. Now you have a unique conditioning challenge as you work continuously for, again, 60, 90 seconds and beyond. You have to learn to control breathing as you work continuously. In addition to that, obviously, there are some strength endurance benefits just by working continuously for, again, 90 seconds and beyond. So, 
Again, this type of exercise here, by no means a necessity, but it is a nice option to have available to you, particularly if you don't have access to equipment such as the wheels or the furniture sliders. If you have any additional questions about this or anything else, as always, please email me at ross at rosstraining.com. Thank you again.